Hi everybody, I'm Rachel from Mrs. Rachel Brady. Mrs. Rachel Brady is a blog, a YouTube channel, obviously, and now, would you believe, even a book club. So I'm Rachel, I'm just a normal mum of two, soon to be three. I live here in the Peak District where we renovated a farmhouse and I make content about family, food, so, so much food. There are so many recipes on my blog, go and check them out. Um, and also like home, housekeeping and style and that type of thing. Today's video is all about how to keep on top of housework. So the last thing I want you to feel after watching this video is like stressed out, some, some kind of pressure to be like the perfect mom or the perfect housewife. Forget all of that. This video is the opposite. It's about being kind to yourself, being kind to your future self, making life as kind of simple and easy as possible just by doing little bits of housework when you can, having an action plan, keeping on top of it so it doesn't get out of control. These are all tips and rules and things I've picked up over the years. I don't know about you, but being on top of housework is so key to my mental health. So it's about being good to yourself and looking after yourself. When the house is under control, I can think clearly, I can breathe properly, everything's good. Today's video is in collaboration with Amy being mum. So Amy is the nicest, most lovely person, but it's one of those weird things where we've never actually met. It's so weird. But we know each other through um, doing a mum, we did mum's net video together re uh, once without meeting, bizarrely. She's also part of Channel Mum and I used to be part of Channel Mum. We've had several conversations online, privately, or whatever. I, we, it's one of those weird things like we just know each other online. She's so lovely. If you don't know her already, go and check out her channel. She's got loads of similar content to me, lots of kind of stay at home mum, housekeeping, home organisation, food, all that lovely stuff. Hi there, I'm Amy, my channel is Amy Being Mum. I'm really excited to be collabing with Rachel today on this video. I absolutely love Rachel's channel, as I know you guys do. We both have quite similar channels, so if you like Rachel's channel, I'm sure you're gonna find something to, that you enjoy over on my channel. I hope you'll head on over and check out my video after you've watched Rachel's one, and if you like what you see, then I would love it if you'd subscribe and stick around, and I'll hopefully see you soon. What's really lovely is that her video is going to be about tips for faking a clean home, so it ties in with this perfectly. So without further ado, let's jump right in. My first tip for staying on top of housework is to accept the fact that you are going to have to apportion some time or some money towards doing this. You have to accept that you need a plan in place and it might involve putting your hand in your pocket and it might involve cancelling other things and you need to accept that it's gonna take time and maybe some money. If you haven't got the money to do it, then you're gonna to have to put more time in. If you haven't got the time to do it, you're gonna to have to put a bit more money in. So I'm gonna share with you my current plan because housekeeping plans evolve, right? So I'm a stay at home mum, but I do work in terms of producing content, having a blog and so on. So I do need some time um, to do that. So. When a couple of years ago I was so, so busy with work, working for myself, that I had a cleaner called Mel, who has now become a good friend. We had her for a while, but when the work dropped off, I didn't need Mel anymore, I had more time, right? You see where I'm going with this? So basically, I am very heavily pregnant, I've got like nine weeks left, and about three weeks ago we decided to ring Mel up and say, Mel, can you come back? Mel cleans for us once every two weeks. She comes for three hours once every two weeks. So I have dedicated some of my money to keeping the house on top of the housework. So in between that two weeks, I'll go into this in the rest of the video, ways I keep on top of it in between her proper deep clean. I've got, she's doing my deep clean. I have no qualms telling me that because this video isn't all about doing everything yourself. I completely understand that not everybody wants to pay for a cleaner or has the money. So therefore, could you think of ways of having extra childcare? Could you swap with another mum every Friday or every other Friday to have the kids after school while you put time into just sorting things out and getting on top of your housework? I hope you understand here that what I'm saying is that everybody's situation is different, but at some point you have to accept that if you want to have a clean and tidy and organized house, you're gonna have to sacrifice time or money. That leads me nicely into my second tip, which is don't procrastinate. It's taken me 39 years almost to learn actually how to 
actually not procrastinate. There are gonna be times when you're ill, you're tired, you're exhausted, you've just had an argument with somebody, you just can't face what you're about to do. But all being well, nine times out of 10, if you know something needs to be done and you can't do it right there, right now, schedule it into your phone, have a little booklet. This is my booklet here, which is like my domestic booklet. So in here is anything to do with the baby, anything to do with the house. I write lists uh, of things I need to buy for the house and things I need to do for the house. When you're thinking about ways to stop procrastinating, by the way, procrastinating, don't feel ashamed if you don't know. I remember my nan telling me what this meant um, like probably about 10 years ago. It, it just means stop putting things off. Procrastination is about putting things off. So when it comes to after you've all had dinner or after you've all had breakfast, it's very easy to just leave all the pots on the table. It's very easy to just move them to the sink. But be kind to your future self. Think about when you're gonna come back from work later that day, do you really wanna come back to all those pots? So it's about getting ahead. It's not just about suddenly having a superpower to be able to stop procrastinating. It's about recognizing what's involved with this procrastination. I think we think to ourselves, I'm not doing this now, I'm gonna be kind and just kind of leave it till later. I actually think that's harmful to yourself. So if you set the alarm half an hour earlier, you can come downstairs, you can empty the dishwasher that you put on last night because you get ahead. So getting ahead and procrastinating are linked. If you make sure that every evening after you finish watching telly with your partner, you take away the teacups and the beer bottles or the take anything that you've had and you put it in the recycling, put it in the dishwasher. If you put a load of washing on to come on at 5 a.m. so that it's just finished when um, you have that extra 20 minutes, you can hang it out. If you pair getting ahead with stop procrastinating, you suddenly things start to click into place. Third tip for staying on top of housework is when it does slide and when it does all go because it's gonna, because life happens, you need to rediscover your mojo. And here's some ways to do that. The YouTube. So obviously I make some content about this. I wouldn't say that I'm like a wizard, wiz you know, I'm not like the person. It's not like the thing that I do. I would recommend Amy being mum, of course. I would recommend Emily Norris. I've just discovered the organized mum on Instagram. She's amazing. What about buying a couple of books? There's a Mary Berry book that one of my followers recommended to me and I'm gonna treat myself to it because it's properly like a lovely kind of little coffee table book and it's all about basically being a bit of a domestic goddess. I don't care that it's not fashionable to be like that anymore. For me, it's really important and it really matters. Treat yourself to a nice book. What about a magazine subscription? I really like good housekeeping. It's not all about housekeeping. It's got like celebrity interviews and beauty and style and fashion and food. It's really good if you're into your kind of home life. What about treating yourself to some really nice cleaning products as well? Something that I really love to use is the Method Non-Toxic Spray. It's in Wild Pomegranate, I think is the fragrance. What about making a big splash and getting like a Dyson cordless hoover? From the little things to the big things. What about, today I've just ordered online a new ironing board cover from John Lewis. It's really sad, but things like that make my life a little bit more cheerful. What about a few months ago, I bought a new plastic cleaning caddy. Uh, for me, anyway, having things nicely organized in a cleaning caddy is so much more appealing than when I used to have it in like a, just a big bag and there was loads of junk in there. My next tip is just a mum reality, and I'm sure you do it anyway because we all do, but I think if you go that extra mile, then you can really do some little jobs uh, regularly. So it's multitask when you can. For me, when I'm brewing a pot of coffee in the morning, I literally get my finger or I get the dishcloth and I just go around like the um, cupboard doors or something, or I'll go along the knife rack and give that a little clean, or there'll be a basket of washing that I brought in and it's not been folded yet. So while the coffee's brewing, I can fold the wash in. The tea is cooking, when it's actually cooking, like the pasta is bubbling, I will just use the opportunity to completely clean up so that then when we finish dinner, all you have to do is put the plates in the dishwasher. I don't want to make, make people think like they've got to drive themselves insane with permanently multitasking, but I just think there's some quick wins to be made while we're waiting for one thing we can do another instead of kind of scrolling on our phone, which we all do. My last 
tip number five is to have a bare minimum to daily to-do list. It's like every single room has its own level and it's a mental list, I haven't written this down anywhere. Making beds is tidying toys away, is wiping down surface areas, whether that's a bedside table or whether that's kind of where your makeup and things are. It's uh, any cups and glasses need to be in, either in the dishwasher or put away. Clothes away, I, I can't understand or abide. Clo why would clothes be left out on the side? Either put them in the wardrobe or put them in the wash. But everybody's different. Like my barometer of tidy is gonna be different to some people watching this. B has got a big Lego project out, or normally Arthur, but at the minute there's one in the living room which Daddy and B are working on. I won't just trash that and tidy that away just because I have a thing about toys going away. You know, some things in family life are mid-progress and it's okay to leave them out. Guys, I really hope you find that video useful. For me, I just, the last thing I want to do is put pressure on mums to have a perfect, pristine, Stepford wife existence. That's not what this is about. For me, it's intrinsically linked to mental health. And for me, personally, I have to feel like I'm on top of things at home for me to feel good. And at, at times, for example, when I have this baby, of course it's gonna go to pot a little bit, and that's fine. Make sure you check out Amy's video. I am definitely going to, because when, when it all goes to pot, you're gonna need some tips and tricks, aren't you? So that's gonna be really interesting to see her video. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit subscribe if you haven't already and hit the alarm bell if you are subscribed. That's all for now, guys. Bye.